Growing up in the broken down city of Detroit, where the longtime neighborhood school is now closed, high school senior Daniel Felix considers his options, but they are not what you'd expect. I got accepted into Harvard University, Stanford University, Princeton University, and I'm also considering the University of Michigan. Obviously, Daniel's story is one of inner drive, triumph over great odds, but it couldn't have happened without two critical elements his school, and his home, where he lives with his younger brothers, his grandfather, and both his parents. Um, since I early age, my parents had motivated me to go to those good schools. They encouraged me to try my hardest. They always taught me that education is a key to success and improving your life. They didn't really have much education when they grew up, so. His home seems to be an island in a neighborhood where he could have easily have gotten into trouble, but he chose a path and stuck to it. It's uh, mostly setting yourself apart from others. Um, always try to set yourself into the right group. Try to avoid any negative groups who try to discourage you from following your dreams or f doing the wrong thing. So just try to involve yourself with the right things, whether it be extracurricular involvement or just friends in general. The second influence was school. And no, this wasn't it. It could have been. Since sixth grade, Daniel had the option to leave the conventional public school system to attend a charter school. Cesar Chavez Academy. Juan Martinez is the principal. Daniel is like many of our students. He's an outstanding young man. He's kind, he's courteous, very respectful. There's an extra step in these. In 2012, Cesar Chavez ranked number two out of 684 public high schools in the Mackinac Center's Context and Performance Report Card. Students here were posting results far above what we would expect given their backgrounds. And uh, when we came here, we saw that teachers had a great level of autonomy, that there was a focus on excellence, and that despite the fact that the school was in a high poverty neighborhood, they had really fostered a sense of security and focus. In 10th grade, Daniel started investigating what it would take to get into the nation's top colleges. He maintained nearly a 4.0 average and scored 31 on his ACT. He didn't expect to get admitted to any of the top schools where admission could be as low as 5%, but then the good news came. I was pretty excited about Princeton. I kind of had like a hint before Princeton, so I chose to open the Princeton letter first, so um, I was really ex excited about it. And then um, Harvard came in and respected me. I wasn't, I wasn't really, I wasn't sure when it was going to come in, but then it came in an email, so I opened it up uh, and it said congratulations. So I was really so shocked at the moment. I, I'm still shocked to the day. Daniel's success, I think, is lit a fire uh, uh, amongst his peers. Uh, there are so many students that are extremely uh, excited and happy about Daniel's success and the fact that he's been admitted to universities. Um, I believe that more and more students will continue following that course in the years to come. Mm -hmm.